Uh, and of course, um, you know, we get, you know, we're at 110 million TV homes every day, and we get lots of people asking us, you know, if we can have people on the air. And um, I like to do publicly traded companies at least a couple times a week because mm -hmm. um, I, who gets ever, whoever gets a chance to sit and talk to the boss? Get right in on ever, it. Ever, right? Yeah. John Gibson is the boss. He's CEO, yes, hey. chairman, and president of a company called Flowtech. Uh, it's an environmental in impact company. And uh, it, what's really interesting about this is they are sort of in the right place at the right time. And, and I've always wanted to ask companies that were in the middle of COVID who mm -hmm. were making sanitizers, surface cleaners, and disinfectants, yeah. if they knew that the world was going to hand them huge yeah, amounts of business on a plate. I mean, that's the good news, bad news yeah, story yeah, about this. Yeah. John joins us today via Zoom. John, how are you, sir? Good to talk to you. Doing well. Pleasure to be here. Hey, so uh, first of all, answer that first question for us. You guys were, have been making these uh, products for a while. When COVID hit, was it almost like, you had the largest purchase order in the history of the world come on your doorstep <laughs> out of nowhere? Oh, or did you have to pivot to get that, there? I wish that were true. But, but in truth, we're a specialty chemicals company that works on green chemistry. And, and we did not have a product line associated with sanitizer, disinfectant, or detergents. But uh, we saw such a need here in the local community that we wanted to help the homeless. And so we had consumer skills and we had FDA skills and EPA skills. So we converted one of our oil field chemistry lines. We can do about 3 million gallons a month, which mm. is an enormous oh amount God. compared to most sanitizer companies. And we met the needs of our local homeless shelter here, Star Hope Mission, and worked with the mayor of the city of Houston and got it out to first responders and in Midland and uh, Children's Hospital here. So. And we, it was so good, and the phone started ringing, we just stayed in the business. Yeah, I have to ask you this. You're in Houston. Do you miss the yes, Oilers? Sir. you miss the Oilers? Yeah. I'm so sorry about the Warren Moon thing. You know, he was one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Is it still the same there in Houston when it's the Houston Texans, or do you guys miss the Oilers? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm an Atlanta Falcons fan. There so we go. Houston, doesn't matter <laughs> to me. God. Yeah, those, of course. Those Oilers can go. Right. Uh... Hey, listen, you, you, <laughs> you mentioned that you were a specialty chemistry chemical company. What, yeah. what other categories are you in? Talk to us about what that means. Well, uh, we definitely do everything in the oil and gas industry for the drilling, completion, stimulation, and production fluids. And where we're really specializing is in the replacement of harmful chemicals or toxic chemicals so that we can improve the green behavior of the oil and gas industry. And pretty excited about that. We can actually uh, sell biodegradable chemicals, uh, chemicals that if you do spill them, that the risk is reduced. And we're pretty, you know, pretty confident that that's the way the world is going, and that our demand is going to continue to increase. So you and you, so you guys are basically a card-carrying green solution. You you would you would be called a green energy company. You know, that's that's perhaps uh, uh, not catering to, but working in concert with some of those oil-producing companies uh, that cause some of the environmental problems. Correct. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I grew up in the oil and gas industry, and so uh, it, it's it's a case of where I'm just trying to help the industry be more sustainable and to take seriously the, the climate, and we want to enable them to produce greener en energy for as long as hydrocarbons are needed, and we, we think that's going to be quite a while, and so we need to improve our performance and uh, improve our ESG focus as an industry if we want to continue to have a social license to operate. Sure. John, uh, John Gibson, by the way, he's the CEO, chairman, and president of Flowtech. They are publicly trained under the stock symbol FTK, and they've got a website, of course, uh, flowtechind.com. Uh, for you guys, what's the model going forward? Are you, are you a B2C, a B2B, or are you going to do acquisition roll-up type of strategy? What's the strategy for you guys over the next 18 um, months as a company? Well, sell something. That would be our main strategy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're the boss. That's perfect. <laughs> How many you times did you say that to your staff? Just sell something. Just sell something, would you? Just sell something. I mean, yeah. I, uh, but I, we're really excited. We made an acquisition of a company called JP3 in the right. middle of COVID, and uh, it, it's a digital transformation company. So we have the ability to measure the composition of fluids while flowing without opening up a valve or, or releasing any gases to the atmosphere or exposing employees to uh, to any risk. Um, so we're able to switch the entire industry from looking at API gravity, which is an average measurement of the weight of, of a particular fluid volume, to actually knowing the chemical composition. We can tell you each one of the molecules that exist. Mm. Uh, that, where that's important is in a pipeline where you're running gasoline and then jet fuel right behind it or diesel. Knowing the moment that that transition occurs 
in less than 15 seconds, sure. you can minimize the mix. And that's about 20 cents a gallon for you to, to handle, to reprocess or eliminate the waste. <laughs> so every time they change product in a refined fuels pipeline, it's about $100,000 that's lost in mixing where you have to send it back, separate it, and send it again. You can imagine that one gallon that's never made it to being consumed. <laughs> it just keeps going around and around and yeah. around. And uh, we're trying hard to, to, to uh, help them eliminate that. So, John, so John, just by doing it, by switching over the product, they're, they're, they're reducing a carbon footprint. Is that part of the selling proposition? Uh, no question about it. We've wow. taken to heart the EPA 12 principles and... And uh, we, we believe not only can we make it greener through biodegradable chemicals, but we can reduce the volumes that you use, which reduces the diesel for transport to the location. We can, can reduce the amount of waste that's created. So we're, we're focused on the total solution of making things greener for our customers. Okay. Um, once again, the name of the company is Flowtech. FTK is the stock symbol. And, of course, his name's John Gibson, CEO, Chairman, and President. And, and uh, when you say sell something, any, other, any new stuff on the pipeline, or are you guys just going to uh, massage what's gotten you there so far? Well, we, interestingly, this has been a green company for over a decade, and people weren't buying green solutions as much. There was a fair mm -hmm. amount of marketing around it in terms of companies saying they were committed to green, but we've seen a huge yeah. adoption and transition here lately as boards get activists yeah. uh, involved. And so I think, you know, our time has come. Well, I think your time has come too. Won't you be on the air with us again? And your time is out. <laughs> so you just, no, ours is though. Oh yeah, we're outie.